haven't worn a red lip in like two months hi guys and welcome back to my channel today we are going to do an update for my whole collection project pan it's hopefully only four weeks since i updated you guys but i actually can't remember but i have a goal that is hit and that means i can roll in a new product and get something new to work on two other products in this project is is debating or not if i want to change them out uh, because I have basically hit the goal. This project is created by Becca from Becca Loves Kanga and she is an amazing girl if you haven't checked her out. She will be linked down below as well as Sarah and Emily that is also doing this project on their own. Well, they do, they do a collab. I'm just here by myself. So that's great. <laughs> Let's just talk about the empty for this update. The empty that I have for you guys is my W7 Hologram 3D eyeshadow stick in pink. I just called pink. I don't think it has a name, but it is this pink holographic shadow stick. It is this kind of stick that is really, really beautiful. I have been using this as an inner corner highlight for like eight months now, and I have only worn down. The tip. It comes like a crayon, like a pointed tip, so I have worn that down in this project and that was my goal because I knew it was going to take forever to finish. I'm really really excited to have worn down the tip and I used the last bit on my eyelid in here as the lightener, you know, so that's exciting. Um, so yeah, I'm going to choose a new product for that in the end of the video. So, as I said, I have used this for like 8 months, so that is my progress lines. They are so close together because you don't need much of this product. So, I hit my goal line. Pretty excited about it. So, it has been a few updates since I set that goal. So, I'm really excited about that. The red lipstick that I have on today is this W7 Metallic Mattes lipstick in Neptune. It is this one. I have not used this in a few months, as I said in the beginning. It is looking like this. It is a beautiful lipstick. I love it so much. But I have not been into red over the summer. So hopefully I can wear red more here in the fall and winter time. Which I assume I will do. So that's a goal that I want to use it more. But my progress goal for this. I have not measured it because I have only used it today and that was very lightly so I don't think there is any progress. But my goal is to get down to that line right there. Then we have my W7 Naughty Nude Nudes, Nudes lipstick and this is called Sunshine. This has been my go-to nude for the last month or so but um, apparently I haven't made that much progress. That is how much I have. I thought this was going to be very cool tone, but you can adjust this shade. So it's actually kind of natural, which is nice. I just measured it. Not a lot. I thought that was more. So I started there and now I'm down to that bottom line there. And that is my goal. So not a lot. I don't know why. Maybe I do. I didn't wear that much makeup this month, but because I just got a job, it will it will be better. I promise you guys, it will be better. Let's keep it going with the sheet. I have my NYX retractable eyeliner in. You remember the color? Aqua green. I adore this eyeliner so much. And I have it on today on my lower lash line. I topped it with a shadow that I am panning in her, the Harry Potter project pan. The Arctic shade from the Vice 4 palette. This is how much eyeliner I have, I have left. Um, that's a lot. Um, I don't think I can finish it in this project. So um, I'm just going to set a goal for it. Fuck. 
it just broke on me. The whole thing just broke on me. It's fine because I still have a lot of product in it, but I just need to be careful when I want to open this, basically. My progress is here in the last line there, and I set a goal that I want to get to there. So I hopefully can use it more, and that is the baseline, so I need to get my act together. Let's get this out of the way. I have not used the glitter once. Nope. Not even once. The seal is still on it. So yeah. My goal is to use it 10 times and then I can roll it out because it is a glitter but I have not been feeling the pink glitter. I just haven't. I love a good glitter but I had to I have to be in the mood to use glitter. No. Then we have a cream cream to powder eyeshadow from Nina Jean. It is this one right here in this packaging. It is called Soft Copper. It is a really, really beautiful shade. It is lighter on the eyes than it is here and it is more sheer than a normal cream shadow. My goal is to have um, a dip or a pan. I can say I definitely have a dip now. I have tried to use it as a base underneath this cream thingy and it works. That is working but now I'm not going to use the cream shadow stick so it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> but yeah, I have the dip but I think I'm going to have it in one more month because I haven't really used it here in September so I think it is a good thing if I use it a few more times. I have my Technique Get Gorgeous Highlighting Powder It's just a highlighter um, nope, It doesn't have a name It is this one right here It is the one that I frankened a little bit out uh, into uh, a highlighter from the Gwen Stefani face palette Angel I think it was called so this is how it is. Oh, this is how it is looking like. I've used it a few times this month actually. Um, when I have worn the green on my eye, then I have used this, and I am focusing my brush here in the middle and out here, in this portion right here. My goal is to wear this this part down and like hit pan on that area. Does that make sense? Because when I scraped this part out, I also scraped a little bit of this layer off. So I want to clear that off, you know? That is the highlighter, by the way. I use it when I have cool tones, uh, cool toned eyeshadow on, because it is a cool toned a pinky white shade. <laughs> Very light and cool toned. Then we come to another product that I have considered taking out because I have made some of the goal. It is an eyeshadow from my W7 Enchanted palette that I brought with me in London because it was my two weeks one palette. And it was also in this project at this time. I got the shade Mystical, that shade right here, just a regular mid-tone brown. As you can see, I have quite a dent in it and that is part of my goal. I wanted to have a dip, but I also want to see if I could hit pan. I don't know if I can hit pan by the next update because I use it very, very often. Now, um, I think I have used it every single time I have done my makeup in this month. It has not been a lot, but I have used it every single time. So I think that is why the dip is so huge. So hopefully, when I update you next time, there will be a bigger, bigger dip or... That was weird. Or a pan. Oh yeah, for this Nils Your eyeshadow cream to powder eyeshadow, my goal is also to hit pan, but I don't think I am going to do that anytime soon. I have my Catrice Absolute Eye Color in Ice White Open Single Shadow. This is the rep repressed version because I had a, a small amount on the sides. And it crumbled and I repressed it and then I think 
I either had pan or I hit pan in the beginning of this project in January. So now it's just expanding. It is expanding every single time that I use it and I use it every single time I do my makeup on my brow bone unless I am using my two weeks one palette because then I use the lighter shade in there but if the, it doesn't have a light shade I'm using this. I wrote this in last time just with like the glitter. It is from my W7 in the CD eyeshadow palette and it is the shade Autumn shade. So it's the second to darkest shade in the palette. I have pan. I am so excited about that pan. Um, it is okay. This is not full at all, this pan, um, because there was not a lot in the palette, you know, because I repressed it in here. So there isn't a lot product in this pan. So I didn't know how fast I was going to hit pan. Obviously fast. Um, a few weeks and I hit pan. <laughs> and it has just expanded. I have it in my brows uh, together with a brow gel right now. I don't know if I want to finish this item or what. I want to work on it for another month and then see. And I want to finish the white eyeshadow from Catrice. Items that I want to evaluate by next update is the brow color from the W7 palette, the cream, the powder eyeshadow, and this. Yeah, and this palette from W7, the mystical shade. Three items that I want to evaluate if I want to keep working on because I have basically hit my goal and hit it, hitting pan or forming the dips. So let's see what I can do by next update. Maybe I can even hit pan on the two others. I don't, I, I can't finish the brow color, but there might be a chance for me to hit pan on one of those shadows. So, where are we here? Let's see how many numbers I am going to put into my pretty random app. I have 353 items in my collection. If I get an eyeshadow palette or face palette, I will randomize the amount of pans in the palettes, you know, and then I can pick a shade. So let's pick one. 282. That is a liquid lipstick. <sighs> let's see what color that is. It is a W scam. Uh, w7 skinny lipping uh, liquid lipstick in air kiss let's see what that is well it's not a fall color <laughs> oh god i wish i got this for this i wish i got this in the springtime look at the color so this is the skinny lipping 2 in air kiss Beautiful color, don't get me wrong, but m m maybe it is a berry color. Um, yeah, it's a very big swatch, but I wanted you to see what color it is. Very true to color, to be honest. I think it is a berry red shade, and it is a lighter berry red. Raspberry red, maybe? Goal? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Um, already now you can see windows in it, but I have only used it once or twice to test the color and see if I liked it. I do. Um, so I can't say, oh, I want to use it so much that I can see air holes in it. It has air holes, just me scraping. See? So it doesn't really make sense for me to make that kind of goal and uh, it feels like a lot to finish it. <laughs> I have not yet decided if I want to continue this project into next year. So I don't know if I'm going to work on this for next spring. But I really want to get some use out of this and that is the goal for sure. Let's see how I'm going to do. Maybe it is a fine color for all. Prefer the red though. <laughs> Let's just see how I do. So this is the new item to this project and this eyeshadow stick is rolling out. Um, now I need to find a new 
thing for my inner corner because now I, I don't have to use this anymore. This was my comfort zone because I knew it worked and I knew it was beautiful. So now I need to use something else. <laughs> That is everything for this update. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, give it a like, subscribe down below. If you're new here, I would love for you to hang out. It would mean the world to me if you wanted to. I do a lot of project plans. I have a lot going on and I'm going to start a few projects in the next few months. I'm really excited about it, so I hope you are going to stick around. I do a lot of empties and get wet with me slash palette bingo stuff. and. So if you have any video ideas for me that I have not done in a while or haven't done at all or a tag maybe, please let me know down below in the comments. It would mean the world to me. So yeah, until my next video, please take care.